Lies have no feet, a true statement said. The truth always emerges, no matter how hard people try to keep it hidden. Start by subscribing and activating the bell before we get into the story of the day. My name is Steve and the name of my ex-wife is Olivia. And that we were married for 13 months. We've been married for a while now and I am one who did not know about her life goings on. On the other hand, I did meet it once. And from that point on, everything in my life went downhill. Our life together was wonderful. We first connected at a gathering at a mutual friend's house. I was able to be introduced to her by my friend and the two of us quickly hit it off. In our conversation, she revealed that she worked as a personal secretary for her company's CEO. It's fantastic that she found success so early in life. She had my respect. I also let her know that I am planning to launch a transportation business in the near future. We talked for 45 minutes straight because we were both so engrossed in the topic. Shortly after that party, we took to exchange texts and occasions, phone calls to catch up. Although I did not start out with a large social circle, I feel like my closest friends have become family very quickly. Now that we were spending more time together, we began sharing meals together. On a weekend night, I met Olivia and a few of her friends at a bar for a few drinks. We drank a lot and had a great time. At the end of the party, I drove Olivia back to her apartment. We became close that night and shared sexual intimacy. I have no idea how it came about it, but I did. And that was the beginning of our relationship. Both before and after our wedding, we shared a lot of laughs and good times together. She was required to accompany her boss on business trips in order to fulfill her obligations. I did not have any issues with it, but in all honesty, I missed her quite a lot. During those times, we did always engage in conversations, but the vast majority of the time, we did not. She was kept occupied for a considerable amount of time, perhaps close to two or three weeks. But after she came back, I loved her very much. As I previously stated, I was working towards establishing a transportation business. Fortunately, all of my preparations were successful and the business was launched. My decision to propose her came to me during the inauguration that took place. And so I did it. When I finally proposed my angel, it was the best moment of my entire life. During that time, I had such a strong crush on her. Well, it's my mistake that I thought she was an angel, but it turned out that she was a demon. I was completely unable to think. On the occasions of the inauguration, after the ceremony had concluded, I got down on my knees, took her hand and asked her. After initially she became timid, then she eventually got her courage up and said, Yes, I'll marry you. In terms of my professional advancement as well as my marital standing, it was one of the best days of my life. The wedding took place exactly one month after we had been dating for seven months. We were each other's ideal partners throughout the entire process. After getting married, our life kept getting better and better every single day. Olivia, as far as I was concerned, was a good luck charm for me. But after only three months, things were not going well at my company. I was under the impression that I ought to hold off for longer, but even after six months, in this venture, I had dragged up a significant amount of financial losses. I gave up and decided to close down my business. During the time that Olivia worked for the same company, she was never absent from her job. I did not even bother to ask her about it because the stability of our home relied on her salary. Aside from this problem, she went on a lot of tours with her boss during these eight months and now she holds the most desirable position in the company thanks to her promotion. She worked for six years for this company to reach this position my search for a new job kept me up all hours of the day and night. On the other hand, unfortunately for me, luck was not on my side. Olivia was always trying to cheer me up whenever I started to feel down, but I could tell that he was getting frustrated with me. We also had a very vile sexual life together 
and she was always encouraging me to try new things in the bedroom. Her support was wonderful to have. However, I was unaware that my situation would become hopeless. Following each of her business trips, we showered each other with a lot of love. When I was looking for a job once, I took my resume and relevant documents to a company while I was traveling. I saw Olivia in a restaurant with her boss, holding hands. The man who oversaw her work was 62 years old. Once I talked to him, he was an incredible individual. However, I did not appreciate the manner in which they were holding each other's hands. When I got back to my house, I questioned her about it. She said he was feeling bad because his wife got heart attack, that's why he was not feeling well. Therefore, in order for him to relax, she takes him out to eat. When we were together at that time, she managed to fool me many times. And at the time Olivia had returned home from her trip, these strange occurrences immediately began to take place. After getting back from a flight that took place approximately 8 hours, she stated that she needed to purchase some items for the new project, so she went out and shopped. It was odd because normally after a very long flight, she would sleep off the effects of jet lag. But this time, she was being completely irrational. Something struck me about the way she was acting. One more essential point. I found it very strange that from the moment she arrived home, she had persistent cough and that her face color had changed as well. I decided to ask her about it and she told me that after she got the flu, she drank a drink in the hotel and then it spread to her throat and nose. She stated that she had already consumed the medication. And one more thing that whenever I asked her to have sexual relations with me, she always refused and gave the excuse that she was not in the mood. I was also able to comprehend her. I advised her to see a doctor about the problem she was having with her throat. But she said she had already consulted to the physician she would be fine. Once I had to give an online interview to a company for a job so my laptop was already broken some days before. So unfortunately I had to use her Mac for interview on Skype. We were very open to each other. I mean, we both knew the passwords of each other of every gadget. I opened it and I gave the interview after interview on her Mac. I saw an email of the confirmation of next appointment of a urologist. She had taken the appointment and now it has been scheduled. It was strange that she did not tell me anything about it. And she was looking for a urologist. All those questions were going on in my mind. It seems like it was second appointment. So I believed she visited it before. I scrolled but did not find any email of the first appointment. Then I checked the recycle bin and found the first appointment email. The date was just the next day of her arrival from her trip. Then I checked the details of the email and found that she booked the appointment one day before arrival and it was obvious that she visited the doctor when she said she went to shopping. She lied to me. I took the address as well as contact number of the doctor and shut down her Mac. When she got back from the office, she questioned me about the interview and I responded by telling her that it went very well despite the fact that I had to use her computer because mine was broken. She appeared stunned and stared at me in a peculiar manner, as if it spread across her face. Suddenly, she dashed into the room, opened her computer, and started working. After seeing her react in such a way, I was convinced that she must be keeping something very troubling from me. But I did not pretend. The following day, I went to the same urologist and told her that I am Olivia's husband. I also told her that I wanted to know about it and what was going on with her, but she was not telling me anything and I told her that I am very possessive about her. I am curious about her health and the reasons she came to see you, so please fill me in. At first she refused to tell me, but I persisted and eventually she divulged some information that drove me completely insane. Olivia, it was said, suffered from secondary syphilis, along with tonsillar and cervical lymphadenopathy. I informed her that I am not a medical professional, so she should kindly explain to me what the condition is and how it manifested itself. 
She said a person who had an oral sex with more than one partner or had multiple sexual partners. I was speechless and then I asked, what you meant by that? She said, you were telling me Olivia had another sexual partner, someone besides me. Therefore, that was the cause of her syphilis. I responded by stating that you were lying and that she could not deceive me in any way. Her assertion was not that one I accepted as true. Tell her to keep her mouth shut, please. She became silent. I inquired about why she had been so cruel to me this way. However, she suggested that you should ask your wife on the matter. If you do not trust my words, I was preoccupied with a number of thoughts as I hurried out of hospital. My palms got sweaty as a result of the fact that I had never anticipated this from her. When the pain got too much, I went to a bar, grabbed a bottle, and stayed there for about five hours. I was unable to explain how it worked. First of all, I do not believe that she is capable of doing this. However, just in case she did it, I made the decision to keep an eye on her and see what would happen as a result of my stalking her. It is abundantly clear that she is having an affair with someone else in her office while pretending to be working on our relationship. As a result, I went to her office every day for several days, except both she did not interact with anyone else. However, I don't see anyone else here. Even though her boss referred to her as his daughter when he visited their home, I had faith in him and Olivia was also good old friend was his son. I trusted him. Anyway, she constantly ignores me for having sex because of an infection. I did not ask her about it either. After following her for two weeks, I found no one who had an affair with Olivia, so I decided to try her cell phone. Once she slept, I picked her cell phone and go to another room to check everything in the cell phone. I went to another room and after scrolling, I found her messages in a simple message inbox. I scrolled for 10 minutes on social media apps, but finally found the text message inbox that she plans to go to a party with a guy. That man told her everything that the party was and when they had to attend. I have noted everything. The party takes place on Friday night and it's still three days away until I wait for them. Finally, it's Friday has arrived and it's time to catch both red-handed. There is no doubt that she was getting fucked by someone so I went to one of my friends and brought his gun to the bring it along with me because I wanted to ruin both of them and wanted to kill that bastard. On Friday evening after returning from office, she was getting ready and she told me she would go with friends to a party and she left. After two minutes of departure, I also rushed behind her. She was driving and I was approaching her in a cab. I instructed the cab driver to keep pace with that car she arrived at the party after having traveled for a total of 30 minutes. She got in the building I waited in the car until she arrived at the party before leaving. After waiting for 5 minutes, I headed over to the party. Everyone was drinking and dancing, but the room was extremely dark and the music was played at such a high volume that I could not make out anyone's features. After a period of 15 minutes spent looking for Olivia, I thought if I went to the top, I would be able to see them there, where the two different couples are kissing each other. I was uninterested in what they were doing, so I started looking for her. I just cast a quick glance in that direction and noticed one of them, Olivia, can be compared with a girl who is wearing red dress. As I got closer, I turned on the flash on my mobile device so I could identify the people I was looking to. Olivia is seen here making out with a male companion, and to add insult to injury, it turned out that guy was her boss's son. Out of rage, I pulled out my gun and shot him in the leg, which caused a scene there. People started leaving the area because I was shooting at the ceiling to silence the music, and it took them a while to realize what was going on. The lights were frantic with fear. It appears that his leg was bleeding badly, but I don't give a fuck. Olivia started berating me about what I had done to him. I positioned myself so that I was gunning to her and instructed her to keep her mouth shut. She started crying and then she became silent. 
I confronted her with the questions of why she had done this to me. How could she treat someone who loved her like that? She was crying very hard, but not because of her crime. On the wounds that were sustained by her lover, I took her cell phone and called her boss and told him to come over. They arrived there after a short while and I had also called a ambulance by the time police arrived for investigations in the case of firing someone. They take me to the police station to answer for what I had done and filed a case. Anyway, the case has been pending me against for two months at that point and I had told the court everything about the affair that my wife was having, which was the reason I did what I did. Regardless, I was released from jail and almost immediately after that I divorced her. Along with that, she also had to give up her job. In a nutshell, she was devastated because it took her seven years to hard work to reach this position in the office and she just had lost it in an instant. Nevertheless, I was content regardless of what had transpired with her and thanks to God I did not contract the disease that she had because of her and I give thanks to God for being one who brought the threat into the light and whenever he had done it helped me see things more clearly if not she would have been unfaithful to me for a long period of time even to this day I am unable to comprehend the reasons why she did what she did however it is possible that the reasons she did it was because she wished to be successful in her company or possibly because she no longer loved me. On the other hand, it came as a surprise to me how she was able to fall in love with someone else after getting married to me because he was an old friend of hers. This is a strong indication that they have been sleeping together for a considerable amount of time. God knows better the fact now that bitch is not in my life and I am happy with my new girlfriend.